Hey, good morning, Barb. How are you this morning? Pray you had a good, restful night's sleep. <clears throat> Amen. That you woke up refreshed and revived and ready to pray this morning. Amen. We're going to let a couple of more people come on here. Uh, we wait for at least two. Uh, there's another one. Good morning, Mother Diane. Praying you had a restful night's sleep last night. Y'all know what the word says, where there are two or three gathered together in his name. Bam, there's one. That's three. He is there in the midst. Amen. I pray everybody had a good, restful night's sleep last night. Amen. And we are not going to belabor the moment. We're going to get to praying. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning, Nicole. Come on in the room. Say good morning to everybody. Listen, the sun is not shining yet. Though this weather is crazy. It went from 65 degrees to 90 degrees. I'm loving it because I love the warm weather. But oh my goodness, that was a quick and drastic change. I love you too, my sister. Uh, praying mommy and daddy are well. Good morning, Burke. Come on, my brother. Good morning, sunshine. That's right, y'all. Come on, pop up on in the room this morning. Oh, uh, that's all right. Rain is good. Refreshing. Good morning, um, Auntie Melinda. Morning, Mother Diane. Come on in the room. Say good morning to everybody. We're going to get to praying this morning. I pray that you all rested and well, ready to seek the Lord's face this morning. Amen. We're going to make this a thirsty Thursday. We searching and seeking living water this morning that we may not thirst again. Father, we thank you and we bless you for another day that you've given us. Thank you for your mercies and your grace, God, that stirred us this morning, got us up, Father, in the name of Jesus, eager with zeal, zest, and joy to give you praise, Father. Lord, we come entering into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We come with thanksgiving on our lips, a praise in our mouth, and gratefulness in our bellies, oh God, because you chose us and we are grateful. Hallelujah. The fact that we opened our eyes this morning, God, Let's us know that you have not given up, given up on us. You haven't quit on us. And we thank you for being faithful to your word that you would never leave us nor forsake us, Lord God. And so we arise this morning, hallelujah, with a great big praise. We arise this morning grateful for movement and activity of our limbs, God. Grateful that we are in our right minds because Lord knows we can be batty as a bed bug, God, but you have sustained us and kept us, oh God, in the moments when we could have lost it. God, somehow you found a way to keep our minds in perfect peace as we sought to keep them stayed on you. And so we come hungering and thirsting after your righteousness this morning, God. Lord, we wake up this morning and we ask first and foremost that you would forgive us of our sin that we've committed knowingly and unknowingly. Something got on our nerves last night, God. God, and somebody woke up this morning still with an attitude, but Father, we are grateful and we cast that attitude off, God. We put that problem, that concern in that person, that situation in your hand and we trust you, God. We won't fret ourselves over evildoers for we know that in due season, they're going to be cut down, God. We don't concern ourselves, God, hallelujah, with the haters in our lives, Lord, because you deal with those too. Father, but we actually in the name of Jesus to minister to our hearts, God, that we might forgive swiftly, hallelujah, and speak softly, Lord. Father, I just thank you right now, hallelujah, for what you are doing in our lives, Lord, the things that are seen and unseen, Lord, because we know although we may not be able to see you at work, you're always working, hallelujah, because you said in your word, Lord, Behold, I'll do a new thing. And so, God, we come submitting ourselves to the new thing that you have for us today. Lord, we forget yesterday, hallelujah, forgetting those things that are behind. We arise today to press toward the mark of the higher calling that is in Christ Jesus. God, we don't concern ourselves with the cares of tomorrow, for tomorrow has its own worries and its own cares. But, Lord, we fix our eyes on today. We ask that you 
give us this day our daily bread, Father. Hallelujah. Give us our portion of what we would need, whether it be health, whether it be strength, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, or all of the above and some, God. We seek you and you alone for it, Father. Hallelujah. Once again, we come bringing our planners and our agendas, oh God, at, in laying them at your feet, asking that you would have your way to shift and move anything that you see fit, that your perfect and acceptable will might be done today in us and through us. So hallelujah, God, we praise you and we avail ourselves to you. Ah, use our mouths, hallelujah, as vessels of encouragement, Lord God. Lord, that as we speak, you would be lifted up, that you might draw all men unto you, Father God. Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus for protection over our families, over our children, over our loved ones, Father. In the name of Jesus, place a hedge, we place a hedge of protection around them with the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, and ask that you would keep them from from all hurt, harm, and danger. Like Job, we come making intercession for our children this morning, oh God. Asking, Father, that you forgive them because some of them know not what they do. And for the ones that do know what they're doing, Lord God, or think they know what they're doing, Lord, we ask that you would forgive them also. We ask, God, that you would minister to their hearts, oh God, where there's hardness, where there's rebellion, where there's resistance to your word, hallelujah, and your spirit, oh God. We ask that you would break down the walls that you might get to the root, hallelujah, of what is causing them to, to turn away from your Father God. And then we trust that there's nothing too hard for you, God, that you are God, you are a long arm God, and that your arm is not short and that you that they can't go so far that you can't reach them. So we ask your Father this morning in the name of Jesus, as we lift them up in prayer, God, that you would leave the 99 and go find the one. God, draw them back to you, hallelujah, that they might serve you with their whole hearts and their whole minds with all of their strength in the name of Jesus. Lord, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for keeping them close and protecting them from danger seen and unseen, God. And so, Lord, we don't try to be God in their lives. Lord, we don't try to control their situations and their circumstances. We won't manipulate them, God. Hallelujah. But we will cast them in your hands, Lord, because only you can do what we cannot, God. And so we thank you and we praise you, Lord, that as we go about our day, that we walk upright before them, oh God, that we walk before them with joy and with gladness, hallelujah, God, that we serve you, Father, with joy and with gladness, Lord God, hallelujah. So in their moment, when you've stirred them, hallelujah, when you brought them from their dark place to light, Lord, that they would have already seen the model, hallelujah, and can put their hand to the plow and not look back and be fit for the kingdom. Father, we just thank you right now and we stand in the gap for our communities, God. We stand in the gap for our school systems. We stand in the gap for our government, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we declare and decree right now, hallelujah, that the blood still works. So we plead the blood over all of it, oh God. We thank you for breaking, breaking uh, systemic systems, oh God, dismantling racism, hallelujah, that leads to poverty and destruction, Hallelujah. We declare and decree in the name of Jesus, our community and our houses lack no good thing, but wealth and riches lie in our homes. Hallelujah, Father God. Lord, we won't look outside for what the world can do for us, God, but we look in the house for what you've given us, Father. We look in our own houses. Hallelujah. We look in our houses of worship. Hallelujah. That your people might be kingdom principle minded, oh God, that your kingdom might be advanced in this earth. Hallelujah. Lord, we just bless you and we thank you right now for choosing us to do the work in this earth. We are your ambassadors, God. And as much as we pray, we know that nothing happens unless we move forward. And so today, God, we take, we receive a download for the assignment that you've given us individually and collectively, oh God. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would speak to each one clearly, oh God. Let he that have an ear 
hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying on this day. Hallelujah. And then God, I pray for the boldness and the wherewithal. Hallelujah. The resources and the mindsets, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to move forward in the assignment that you've given us, Lord God. Hallelujah. God, we shall fear no man. God, we shall fear nothing. Lord, knowing that if you've called us to it, you'll bring us through it. Hallelujah. Knowing that if it's your will, God, it's your bill. So we don't worry about how it's going to get paid. We don't worry about how it's going to be funded, oh God. But we continue to do the work, Lord. We continue you, hallelujah, to seek out the partnerships. God, bring forth the governors and tutors that you've assigned over us, God, to lead us and to teach us to be masters in the areas that you've called us to serve you, Lord God. We don't want to be a jack of all trades and masters of none, by God, but we ask that you, if if, you, if it's only one thing that you gave us, Lord God, God, that we would immerse ourselves in that, that you might be glorified, Lord God. So we ask your Father in the name of Jesus to remove the veil from our eyes, that we might see in the spirit what you have said, Lord God. We ask Ask your Father in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, to open up our ears that as we go about our day, we can hear your divine instruction on what to do next, who to see next, what to speak about next, God, hallelujah, who to call, God, that you put in line and in order and in place to help us out, God, hallelujah, Father, we just thank you so much for the assignment and we say yes. We say yes as we go on assignment to our job. Hallelujah. We will love on the co-worker that everybody hates, Lord God. And when they start talking about them, Lord God, hallelujah, although we might not be able to stand up for them and fight for them, God, because the words that they're saying is true, God, we're going to stand on the hope that there is nothing too hard for you, Lord God, and that you are able to, to break even the shell of the hardest heart, oh God. We ask your Father in the name of Jesus to go deep, hallelujah, and search out the Leviathan spirit, oh God, that you might be able to break the shell, hallelujah, that you might be able to break the stiff neck, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, because Lord, we know what won't bend will break, Lord, and so God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to be merciful and to be kind, hallelujah, God, as you do the inner work, Lord, we will continue to speak those things that are not as though they were, we will continue to speak life and not death, oh God, we will continue to speak positivity and not negativity, hallelujah, over those that are around us, God. We won't look at them and say the things that other people say, oh, they're mean and they're ornery. God, we're going to find that one thing, hallelujah, that is soft about them. We're going to find that one thing, God, that we've seen. Show us some compassion in them, God, that nobody else has seen, Lord. Show us something that we can point out to others, hallelujah, that they might know that you are at work and you are a masterful God and no out who we are, what we've gone through, hallelujah, you have an intentional plan for each one of us, Lord God, and Lord, we pray that as we speak those things, others will be drawn from darkness, God, to your light, Lord God, that they would see the positive, Lord, that as we sprinkle the salt of the word of God, Lord, that they would see it flavorful and desire to taste and see that you are good, hallelujah, and God will never take the glory, God. We'll never take the honor, but we will always give you the praise. We will always point to you that people may know that it is no work of our own, oh God, and we couldn't do this by ourselves, but it is your power, your spirit, oh God, hallelujah, your fruit that is at work. Oh, we stay connected to you, Lord God. And Lord Father, we ask you in any area of our life where we've moved, where we've shifted, oh God, hallelujah, away from you, out of your will, or toward toward the wrong direction, God, realign our steps this morning, for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord God, and we want to be good men because you are a good, good Father. We want to be a positive representation of you in this earth, Lord, and so we ask your father in the name of Jesus to guide us today, God. Lead us, father, in the name of Jesus, in the way that you would have us to go. Oh, we thank you, Lord, and we bless you, God. We thank you and we bless you, Lord. And father, when we, when we, when we get ready to turn to the left, father, 
we pray that the still small voice will whisper in our ear and we that we might be redirected, oh God. Hallelujah. Mm. Let our thoughts be your thoughts today, God. Our ideas, your ideas, Lord God. Our desires, your desires, Lord. Well, oh, hallelujah, we pray that today, God, your kingdom will come and your will will be done in this earth. Hallelujah, first, then that it would be manifested in the earth. Oh, your sons and your daughters are eager to be manifested, Lord God, but we wait on you. We will be still and know that you are God. We won't get ahead of you and we won't lag behind you, Father. But we ask you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, for strength in the inner man, Lord God. For patience, hallelujah, as you work in us and through us, Lord God. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus for clarity of mind. Jesus. Hmm. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We come against every trap, every snare, hallelujah, every spirit of chaos, mayhem, confusion, division. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus against you and declare the fire of God is upon you that your weapons are formed, but they will not prosper. We are alert and we are vigilant on every side, aware of every trap, scheme, and tactic that the enemy has already set our way. We place a blood detour. Hallelujah. Right there, Lord God. Hallelujah. Shutting it down in the name of Jesus. We will not be deceived. Hallelujah. We will not be manipulated in the name of Jesus, but we declare and we decree, decree that we are alert and vigilant. Hallelujah. Abounding in the work and the word of the Lord on this day. Thank you, God. We pray for those who are sick on this day, God. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you would touch their bodies from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Minister your healing power, God. You get the glory out of this. If it was just a little quiet time that you needed to spend with them, God, that they weren't affording to you, I pray, God, that in these moments and in these days that you got them sitting up and laid up, God, as you're nursing them in their bodies, in their health, God, minister to their minds, hallelujah, the new thing that you're doing. Give them witty inventions and hallelujah, creative ideas, how to move forth in the ministry that you put for them in their quiet time, God. I pray that they are studying themselves approved, hallelujah, unto you, God, workmen who need not be ashamed that they may be able to rightly divide your word of truth. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that as they sit on dialysis machines and go through chemotherapy and radiation treatments and physical therapy, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, that they are sitting and meditating on your word. Hallelujah, that it might be hidden in their hearts to be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path. God, I pray that you would open their eyes and the nurses and the doctors, hallelujah, would get a glimpse of what you're doing in their lives. God, that they would know that they are not the ultimate source, that they are not the final answer, oh God, but that you gave them the ability and the power to help others, Lord God. I pray that they would surrender their hands to you as surgeons. Oh God, their minds to you as doctors, oh God, but most of all, their hearts to you as men and women. Lord, that as they as they minister to people in healing, oh God, as they minister to people's bodies, Lord God, that they are prayerful and watchful, oh God, that you might give them a greater insight, hallelujah, to the spiritual things that are going on before behind the natural things that are being manifested, Lord God. I pray that they will commit their hands to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, as they go in and explore. Ah, I bless you, Lord Jesus. I bless you, God. 
and I thank you. Oh, God, give you glory, Lord. I give you honor and I give you praise. We continue to lift up Jamila to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Pray that you continue to breathe the fresh breath of life into her lungs, God. That she can continue to be a living testimony, not just of your healing power, but of your goodness, of your faithfulness, of your intentionality toward us, Lord God. We continue to lift up Linda and Michelle, God. We continue to lift up, hallelujah, all of those who are afflicted in their bodies, Lord. We continue, hallelujah, to pray over the spirit of COVID-19, Lord God, as it runs its course, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Father, hallelujah, that it would run its course all the way out the way. But God, I pray that we would, uh, against the spirit of cycles, that we continue to go through these cycles of numbers up and numbers down and numbers up and numbers down. But God, that we would be consistent in provision, uh, prevention, hallelujah, and protection, Lord God. That we don't lose sight and go back to the way things used to be, Lord God, hallelujah, for forgetting those things that are behind Help us to press and not just to press, Lord God, but press toward the mark of the higher calling that is in Christ Jesus. We're not pressing toward the things of the world, God. We're not pressing toward the ways of the world, God. But we are pressing in those things that draw us nigh to you, Lord. We are pressing in ways that would advance your kingdom in this earth, Lord God. We are pressing in ways, hallelujah, that you might be made manifest. Hallelujah, not just in us, but all around us, Lord God. We lift a page to you this morning, God, and we ask that you would touch a body in the name of Jesus. We continue to lift up Papa Sally to your father and ask that you touch his body in the name of Jesus. We ask, God, that you would continue to comfort those that are grieving and mourning, Father, in the name of Jesus, for you are the comforter. We won't look for our comfort in people, God. We won't look for our comfort in the bottle, Lord God. We won't look for our comfort in the smoke, Lord. But we look for our comfort in you. We find our peace in you. We search for our joy in you, Lord. And as we find our joy in you, Lord, that it will be made and transferred into strength to do the work that you've called us to do. We submit these hearts to you, Lord God. Search them, Father. Search the deep and hidden places, Lord God. And whatever darkness that you find in us, Father, we ask that you will shine your light, Lord. Shed your love abroad in our hearts. That today we might understand the breadth and the length and the width and the depth of your great love for us, God. And as a result that we will love much. For he who has been forgiven much loves much. And you have forgiven us for much, Lord God. Help us to walk mercifully, kindly compassionately, peacefully, and lovingly, but most of all, intentionally. That we will not go about our day haphazardly, God, but everything that we do, we will do it as unto the Lord. And we won't be concerned about who benefits from it, God, for you distribute it as you see fit. We render our service, we render our worship, we render our lives unto you today that you might get the glory, the honor, and the praise. Now, Holy Spirit, we ask that you will go before us to guide us, above us to bless us, behind us to protect us, and in us to keep us from falling, that you might be able to present us spotless before your presence with exceeding joy. 
Oh, we give you glory for you are the only true and living God, full of majesty and power, infinitely wise, hallelujah, and incomparably great. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I love y'all so much. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Toya. Good morning, Tweet. Good morning, Violet. Cheryl, Hope. Good morning, Mama Linda. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Angel. Good morning, Mama Phyllis. Good morning, Cheryl, Wanda, Big Sister Hope, Kathy Jordan, Tisha Davis. My loving sister Kathy Bussy. Mwah. I love you and your sweet spirit. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Miriam. We lifted up Jamila this morning. I pray she's doing well. I check in with you later on her. Amen. And I still got to get over there to get to her. <laughs> Amen. My car is back on the road. So maybe I'll get an opportunity to swing by you this weekend. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, Wanda. Good morning, Mother Reba, Deacon Marcella. Good morning, everybody. Good. It is so good to see everybody on here. And Wanda Gibson, my beautiful sister. Happy birthday. I don't think I said happy birthday to anybody as much as I said happy birthday to you yesterday. Usually after one happy birthday i just hit the loves and the, i just hit the loves and the likes after that but you my sister i had to just keep on wishing a happy birthday because 59 looks fabulous on you my god when i grow up i'm gonna be like my big sisters after i'll be like jesus first Amen. Good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, everybody. I love you guys with the love of Jesus. And I thank y'all so much for coming on in the morning to touch and agree with me in prayer, to pray with me. I know that y'all don't just come on here looking for me to pray for you, but I know that you come on here and you bring your prayers along with me. And so I thank you so much. And listen, if you have specific prayer requests that you guys want me to lift up for you in the morning, please email to pastorlani at gmail.com or inbox me, whatever, EDM, whatever, however. Um, just let me know because we want to make sure that we stand in a gap for you. My sister Akila, my prayer warrior, Sister, I thank you for joining this morning in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. We will give the devil no foothold over our day. BFF, I love you. Praying for you. Make sure you um call me when you get back from the doctor today and let me know what the verdict is. Mother Diane, good morning. Mimi Brooks, I love you, my sister. Still praying for you. Amen. Praying that it's all working out for the good. I love y'all. I love y'all. Mimi, Michelle, the best roommate ever. Listen, man, that girl took care of me during the conference, made sure that in all of this stuff that was going on, that her sister had her hair right and had everything that she needed. Amen. Even when her knees was aching, she was like, I'll go back to the room and get it. I love you so much for holding the sister down. My big sister, Hope, I love you so much. Good morning, Deacon Destiny. Good morning, Cassandra Denise Smith. Oh, y'all is in here in full effect this morning. Amen. Come on. We done do, listen, if one could chase a thousand and two could put 10,000 to fight, we done put the enemy's camp on the run this morning, y'all. Hallelujah. Continue to walk by faith, believing that God is not just God, but he is a rewarder of those who diligently Gently seek him. Good morning, Nicole and Nicole. Mother Brenda, hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm praying that I did not miss anybody, but y'all know if I did, charge it to my head and not my heart. Big sister Charlzetta, I see you, I see you, I see you. Jamila, I see you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Listen, I pray that you go forward. The, uh, minister Rob McCottrell, I see you. Good morning, sunshine, everybody. Neek, neek. I love you, girl. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love y'all. Listen, go forward in the strength, the power, the wisdom, and the might of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen for his voice as he speaks to you. And when he speaks, harden not your heart, but do what the Lord says that you might reap. Hallelujah. The blessing connected to obedience. Amen. Even if it means that you got to suffer with him, even if it means you don't get what you want for, if we suffer with him now, we will reign with him later. I need you to remember that, hallelujah, that the benefits are not always instant. And if I could leave you with one last thing, 
Y'all know the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so walk in the fear of the Lord, which means that today you will obey him instantly when he speaks. You will obey even if it hurts. You'll obey even if there appears to be no benefit. Hallelujah. You will obey. You will obey. Hallelujah. To completion for partial obedience is disobedience. Obey even if it hurts. Obey to completion. Obey. Um. If there appears to be no benefit, obey instantly. And there's one more that I can't think of right now because there's five things, hallelujah, in walking in the fear of the Lord. Oh, uh, uh, um, no benefit. Even if it, even if it hurts. Did I say that? Even if it hurts. So listen, go forth and enjoy. Good morning, Marsha. How are you this morning, my sister? I love you. Walk in the power for you possess the greatest power. On the inside of you. And that is the Holy Spirit and the power of God. Allow him to both work in you to will and do his good pleasure. He's got you. When no one else has, he does. I love you guys and pray that you have an amazing day. I will not see you this evening. In school this evening. But faith to faith moment of maturation will be back. Um, but I got to come back doing what, what the Lord tells me to do. So until he tells me um, what's next, then uh, we just going to keep on meeting for prayer in the morning. Amen. But we can rest assured that when he comes back, well, what's, what the next teaching is, is going to be good. Amen. I love you guys so much. And I pray that you have an amazing day in Jesus name.